welcome and thank you so much for joining me once again thank you my returning subscribers god bless you all please i beg of you if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and be part of this beautiful family i'm bringing to you today another interesting video yeah i always say from our one and only country nigeria because it's only there that wonders are happening every day let's watch this another interesting video from nigeria thank you so much let's go guys we have to uh, we have to keep talking so much about because take it or leave it those things are bound to be if they if they if they if they don't have sabots for this struggle then the, the struggle doesn't make sense just like a normal human being when you have somebody that is going on every life is moving on well for that person naturally the person will just have hatred from different corners coming from different angles so it is natural it is expected so let us just uh, stop uh, keep uh, over exaggerating things or trying to glorify these people who are trying to really you know make things really balanced because as far as i'm concerned they are supposed to be there all these sabos and all those people vultures that are gathering they are supposed to be there and let me sound a note of warning to ipob everybody in ipob should get ready at this particular moment we have not seen attack yet they are going to in fact they are going to come in large numbers to begin to attack you so if you are not strong if you are not a strong member of ipob better get ready because attack is going to come from different angles that you don't even expect from where you don't even as in from people who you think we are once with you and then all of a sudden uh, things will start changing so i want you all to remain strong and then to be focused because this battle is meant for the fierce this battle is meant for the strong and heart this battle is not meant for the weak-minded people so the time to know where you really stand is now because a lot of people are going to come to convince you otherwise to fight against yourself not even <laughs> they are convincing you to fight to begin to fight against yourself because right now politicians are beginning they are coming up they are gathering you know they're trying uh, the campaign stuff they are gathering at this moment to organize for 2013 sorry 2023 uh, 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 elections so there's a lot of a uh, congregation of people going on and they are now like now the Kano is a major target because once they can able to disband whatever thing he's doing they can be able to have people as usual as normal to to deceive people to deceive for every four years to begin to vote for them so i want to encourage mazin nam the Kano. Keep doing what you are doing. You know something? I want to encourage you because I know that even if you have like five, let's say that the number of IPOB members are just 500. I'm telling you that before you know what is going, going on, about 250, you will lose 250. But it is good like that. Do you know why it is good? You need people who has this, who have this agitation in the heart to be with you. Otherwise, all your effort will be sabotaged. All your efforts. So, so at this particular moment is the moment of truth. And when I look at what is going on on the social media, the people that used to be strong, IPOB strong members, they are busy falling away. They are busy talking rubbish. When you look at, like, I just listened to what Nana, I got angry. I said, what is what is this one talking about? Since I know uh, the, the woman, she has been so, she, she used to be a strong IPOB member. But now I don't even know, understand what she's, you know, she's talking about. So I'm going to... Um, my message this afternoon is just to encourage you to remain strong and to expect more of this more of this sabotage is coming more of this sabotage is coming and at the end of just like somebody that is expecting it uh, that is uh, in a trial if you are in a trial period a trial moment eh? at the end before you just get to the last stage of that trial there's something that has something big that will come and shake you if you ask let me just do for example if you are having faith to have a child for god for, for instance you are having faith maybe god will just put it that you have to stay for eight years before you have a child now i'm going to tell you that stay one year two years three years and you're getting to like sixth year you begin to uh, 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 that is you begin to see all manner of uh, 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 trials to begin to come to you just to shake you just to make sure that you really know what you want do you understand so it is at this moment that IPOB are now everybody is going to attack you are going to get it from politicians you're going to get it hard from people who eat from the evil government so everybody is going to be sponsoring anybody who is viable so it is time that IPOB said the numbers that they are going to attack it 
to make sure that IPOB crashes. But as the Lord lives, because I also know that IPOB is hanged upon God. Every time I see you calling God as God is the one that started the struggle. God has been with you and you always try to elevate God in this struggle. Now, one thing I do know from my Bible is that God does not work with numbers. I know that. God does not work with numbers because if he works with numbers, then people would begin to take glory and say that, yes, it is because we are large. It is because we are big. That is why we are able to get this thing done. Now, I'm telling you that when God wants to step into a thing, he wants to take all the glory. And what happens is that you may begin to see that there will be split. There will be so much infighting. People will go on against you and the number will shrink and reduce. Why? Because he is looking for those men whose hearts are pure. He is looking for those men whose, as in whose mind is truly for this Biafran struggle. Anybody that fell away just because they say you are insulting them, know that, that their heart has never been with you. That is the truth. The heart of anybody who is falling away now because... Because simply because you're is, is insulting or because you are calling people sabo or because those people's heart has never been with you. I want you to understand that. And that is why sometimes when God wants to try us, when God wants to try us, he puts things in place. You know, he sets things up just to see what is in your heart. You know, when things begin to happen like this and people begin to fall away, know exactly what is happening. Now, I'm telling this, I'm, I'm trying to encourage every strong IPOB member who knows what they truly stand for because this Biafran struggle, not a lot of people know what they just came into it because it is an ending. Everybody just, this is where we congregate now. Everybody is talking about Biafra. I need to be a part of what is going on. They are not, there are just a few that really understands what it means. And this few is what you should be praying to God that they remain. Because at this particular time of shaking, this is a part a time of shaking. Because if IPOB survives this trauma, this kind of shaking that is coming now, if they are able to survive it, the people that will remain will be the ones to bring the Biafra. It is not everybody that is going to bring it. So don't panic when you begin to see all over the social media people flooding to say things. Nigerian government is sponsoring some people. Politicians are there trying because this is their, the way, this is how they get their daily bread. Please help me and share if you're watching. Help me and share so that we can reach more people. This is simply people this is simply business, people's business. So it is their business, you know. I, I, you don't, you can't stop their business because politics is the is, is the only is the only way they know how to get what they eat. So how do you think they will fight you with everything? They will fight IPOB with everything because IPOB is the only one giving them headache. So don't expect and and a lot of you know there is hunger in the land. Hunger is already uh, 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 a, a weapon. Hunger is a weapon already. So people, the, 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 the weapon is there. And then at the end of the day, they can now lure people to come. And I will give you some money, you know. And then uh, naturally, many people will fall for it. So I want to encourage you to be strong. To know that if you are with God, that is the only thing that matters. Don't go to any battle with a human being. Don't go to any battle with numbers. If you are, you are conversant with the Old Testament and you know you know quite well that when God is fighting, he doesn't need numbers. He wants to reduce that number just to ridicule. At the end of the day, he will just know that he himself brought it. At the end of the day, this Biafra you're talking about, if God is the one to bring this Biafra, then he doesn't need numbers. I want to encourage you. God does not need numbers. And any time he wants to do it, he will do it. Because he will just need to move into the hearts of men and begin to drive them, make them to do what his will is. It's as simple as that. So as the time comes, when the time comes, all these people trying to be enemies, all these people trying to fight the freedom, trying to bring confusion here and there, know that it is time. Just like a woman, when a woman becomes pregnant, before you get it, the, the, the pregnancy it goes to the first trimester, the second trimester, and then the last trimester, you begin to see that the woman begins to experience kind of pain, discomfort. Now, when it is the time to labor, what happens? This is the labor period for IPOB. This is the labor period for IPOB. So what you should have to do is that for every woman who wants to give birth, it is time, the labor period is the time for that woman to become strong. Because if you are not, if you are weak, you will not make it and neither will your child make it. So this is the time for labor, for IPOB. So everyone who is strong, everyone who knows what he is fighting for, truly, not that you are pretending or you want to just join the crowd. This is the time to stay strong in what you believe. Because there's a lot of things that are going to come your way. People are going to come with all manner of stories here and there just to shake you, you know? And when you refuse being shaken, 
when you show that you do truly deserve this thing, watch how God will deliver the Biafra into your hands. God doesn't work with population. I just want you to understand this. God does not need population to, to bring Biafra. If everybody, if he sees, sometimes he says, I'm just looking for one person, or I'm just looking for ten. If I see one person or two people whose hearts are right towards me, I will do what I want to do with them. So if you believe truly that it's God that will bring this Biafra, I want you not to look at what people are trying to do. People are trying to attack the number of people in IPOB. That's what their, their target is. But when I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you, Mazen Namdekanu, that if truly you believe God is the one bringing this Biafra, I am telling you to just stay close, just stay true, uh, glue to your course. Keep doing what you are doing. Keep looking at God himself. And whatever instruction he gives you to do, do it. Let me tell you, the time that children of Israel wanted to leave from Egypt, to it even took everybody in Egypt started complaining against Moses. They were all complaining. They told so many of them to go and check the land. But what happened? They all came back and said, those people are too big for us to surmount. Now it took two, only two people. Only two. God doesn't work with numbers. It took only two people, two men, to go and check. And then he came back and said, those people, we can overcome them. And what did God do? By their statements, God went ahead of them and gave them the land they desired. So all these uh, problems and all these things I'm hearing on social media about uh, IPOB, this and that, they, are only, they only want to attack the numbers. Because they think by getting the numbers that... Everything will be as in you won't have a, a, the, the power to, to, you know, for the money coming in and then you will not be able to do whatever thing you want to do. But that is a big lie. Because the God who I know doesn't need people. If he wants to do anything, he goes ahead and does what he wants to do. The only thing he needs is willing vessel. The people whose heart is right to do this thing. So... It is time to get ready. There's going to be a whole lot of shaking in the IPOB. As in, those people who are not strong are going to fall on the wayside. This is a moment of shaking. Take it or leave it for me. Because from now till this uh, so-called election thing, everybody is beginning to pay one, or the, one person or another. They are going to be paying people just to make sure they are shaking IPOB. So if you think that this scandal is over and they were going to bring another scandal, a lot of people are going to be coming with all manner of trash. So expect this thing to come because this is normal. It is normal. At this particular time, you want to give birth to a nation. There must be that moment of travail. This is a moment of travail. This is a moment you, everybody, every true Biafran must remain focused. Don't allow anybody to come in with their cock and bull story. You must remain focused on what you want. If you truly love uh, love Biafra, just so as uh, many people say, they say uh, we love Biafra, but sometimes they can just say away from IPOB. What stops you from saying at the background? You are once a, 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 an official or a member. You are once an official, and then, then you had a post. And then at the end of the day, they said, okay, move from this post. You can become a floor member, and then. And then you now turn against him simply because he removed you from your office. I don't understand it. If you truly had this freedom in your heart, it won't be a problem. But because many people just went there to have a leadership police position, that is exactly what you are fighting in Nigeria. Anybody who loses election don't want to go. They want to kill everybody because they lost an election. It is the same thing that is repeating. Can't you people get it? It is the same thing that is repeating. Everybody, when they say, step down, that is, it is like, Practicing what will happen in an election, in, a, in, 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 in Biafra itself. When Biafra comes and you see that, yes, the people don't want you again to serve in a particular capacity. Why don't you leave? Leave. It doesn't mean that tomorrow they will not want your service. You say, okay, we don't want you now. Leave. Stay and then be a part of the struggle. Support whatever thing you are doing. Tomorrow they can say, okay, that we now need your service. Come back. But because they say, I don't want your service at this moment. You now want to become a monster. Turn against him and begin to speak all manner of things against him. They wonder, what does that make you? What does that make you? I look around all the social media and this is what I see. I grieve member. I was once like, why did you leave IPOB? Why did you leave? As if, if you left IPOB and you had actually the interest of Biafran's at heart, you really want Biafra. You know what you are fighting for. My sister, my brother, the time, what you should be doing is to support the struggle. You did not come to become a, 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 you did not come so that they will give you leadership position. What actually brought you is the interest of your people. You want to move your people forward. Now, if that is your interest, and then you came, and you are now privileged to have a position, a leadership position. Now, if somebody says, okay, leave that leadership position for another person. It is only testing, as in, your, your ability to, to withstand some certain pressure, some certain things. 
That is what the testing. But then you will now come out and begin to say, eh, because I am no longer a leader, I have to fight the struggle. I have to become an enemy to the struggle. Then that shows what is hidden in your heart. You did not come to serve. Neither you came to be, to be worshipped, to be served. And as long as you're not getting that attention you think you deserve, then you might as well destroy the struggle. You will now destroy the same struggle you claim to love. I don't really understand it. If we are here, if we are just here to, you know, to, uh, to make the struggle work, why would you fight? Simply because you are told, okay, I don't want you to be in this position again. Go to this position or rest for a while. Let us see another person. In a democracy, that is the way it is. People can need you today. Tomorrow they may not need you. They may not need your service. It doesn't, make, it doesn't mean that you are bad or you're something. You can just step down and then keep on the struggle. Keep being in the struggle. It only shows what is hidden in the heart. But people don't understand it. Is it so difficult? It only shows what goes on in the heart. Are you there for your own personal gain or for, for your pride? Or are you there for what to give? Are you there to serve? If there are two different things. These are what makes our politicians the same way they do the same people they are today. We don't have politicians because we don't have people that are here there to serve us. Our nation is not going well because of the caliber of people we have. They have this kind of mindset that we must always worship me. I must be worshipped. If you don't worship me, I can go as far as killing people. You know, there will not be peace. I will make sure I frustrate your government. I will make sure. Then you did not come in the first place to serve. That is the truth. You did not come to serve. If I say I don't want you in this capacity, then why are you making so much trouble? Why are you going all over the media, painting the IPOB struggle this, simply because they ask you to stay aside? Check your conscience. Check your conscience. Did you really come to do what you want or you just want to people to notice you? Did you just you want to use the struggle so that people will know you through the struggle? That is how I just love God. This is something that God normally does with people. You know, God always looks in the heart. That's why when God decides to use a person, you don't question him because he has already seen what is in your heart. He doesn't look at your face. God don't they look face. He doesn't want to see that you are tall or that you are beautiful or that you can speak English. God can decide to use a dunce. Why? Because he has seen the heart. Why God is using Namdekan with all his insult and everything? See, when he says something, it comes to pass. Have you asked yourself that question? When he says a thing like this, this thing is going to happen like this. With all the insult that he insults people and all, these things come to pass. God honors his words. Why do you think that? It is because his heart is right towards God. It is not because of the way we, we don't see. God doesn't see the way we see. God don't look at things the same way we look at things. He is different. That is why he is God. So don't be that uh, you, you, you show us your heart when you come up with so much anger. I was just watching somebody he says, hey, 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 if I'm going to open you up, I'm going, and I'm like, what did Namdekanu do you do to you? Did he ever offend you? Did he ever wrong you? I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to, you know, we're saying no matter of things. He says, I'm going to pour my venom. I'm like, are you serious? You are going to pour your venom. What did he do to you? What did he do for God's sake? If you are not like, if you don't like his style, you don't like the way he is managing IPOB, start your own. Biafra is for all of us. If you start your own and we see, oh, this person, and when we now have a choice, this person is better than none because everybody, you know how it is it happens now. Everybody will rush and come to your platform. That is the way it happens. But trying to blackmail this person to, and but you are not even better. What does that make you? What does that make you? It doesn't make you any better. We have to, we have to, I don't know, we have to really tell ourselves the truth. This is the moment of truth for God's sake. If you are not strong an IPOB member, very soon, if you are not strong and you are an IPOB member, very soon you will fall away. Go and write this thing down. Because pressure, more pressure is coming on. Politicians are looking forward to an election. There, there's political alignment going on. So before you know it, a lot of you are going to drop. A lot of you are going to be confused because they don't want you, as long as you know, they can, can be able to tell you what to do, they know that they don't have your votes. They know that they can't really money, manipulate you as usual. So they will need to frustrate this struggle so that they can get your attention. When they tell you, yes, it is happening with APC, you rush and go and join. It is happening with PDP, you rush and go and join. 
Politicians are busy spending money, giving people vote as in the gullibles, giving them money to come and say rubbish, voice rubbish on, on, on the social media. And a lot of people are coming and saying, Yes, you have a point there. You have there is no point. Any point that is not referring to your freedom is no point. Anybody who is talking rubbish now that is not against your that is not for your own freedom. That person he has simply been paid. He will just go and get one loophole like that and begin to talk about it. And begin to talk about it. If that person is sincere, the only thing he will do is, I see that this thing is wrong. No, the kind of, why don't you do it like this? Why don't you do it like that? That's a sincere heart. But if you begin to come out and begin to get him, hey, he is not good. He is this. He is bad. He is bad. You are the only one that is Do your own now. Let us for you. You cannot do. But you will be fast to say he is bad. He is terrible. Because politicians have given you small change. A lot of chicken change is going to be flowing up and down. People are going to be... In the IPOB, get ready. When I mean get ready, get ready for attacks. More are coming. They are buying people in their numbers. More are coming. More attacks. You have to respect it. Politicians are not relenting. They are not relenting. Because this thing you are doing now, this thing that Namazina Bikanu is doing, creating awareness for people to know what they really want in life, it's making them, it's like they are afraid they are going to lose their daily bread. You know, politics, most of them don't have any business. Politics is what they do. Now, if they cannot, if they can no longer eat, if they can, you think that taking the, out their food from their mouth, they will just sit down like this and watch you. No, they have to use you to pull you down. They have to come into IPOB, begin to see people that are gullible people that they can buy, that at least that can say something against the struggle and, they, and to authenticate it. Because somebody that is outside can, can be saying something that they will listen to them. But when an IPOB member comes and begins to say, eh, hey, now the county is not, he's eating on our money. He's not doing it. He has told us in 2012, he did not come. 2013, he did not come. As if it is... Now the Kano has it as in it is in his power to bring Biafra and he has not brought it. Is it in the Kano's power to bring Biafra and he has not brought it? You think that it is funny, it is easy for him to stay abroad, not coming back to his village, even to bury his parents, he could not. And you sit back in your house and relax and say, eh, Nan the Kano, eh, he promised eh, 2012, it did not happen. Told me 2013, it did not happen. 2014, now he's telling us 2020. What is it? If it is that easy, go and bring the Biafra now yourself. If it's Biafra, bringing Biafra is that easy as you say it. Bring it yourself. Go and bring it and we'll follow you. Why are you busy talking no manner of rubbish? I look at all these things and I look and I say to myself, why is it that people are weird? Are, is it that we are not tired of our, our suffering? Is it that we are so brainwashed that, in fact, I don't know if it is the food that we eat. We no longer think well. You see a grown-up man, somebody who probably doesn't even have work to do. You finish your university, no work. But your phone is, because you have an Android phone, you can type. You sit down and begin to say, this is not the kind of the struggle self. Just because you see what your friend types. You don't even understand what, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, maybe, I pray that God gives us wisdom. Because, you know, wisdom is not really common. Wisdom is not even, wisdom is not common. Many people don't have it. That's why when I look at our youth, I cry for our youth. I weep for our youth because we don't have wisdom. Just a little thing can make you, can put a, a lot of things in order. Just a little, might not change. If we have this thing we are looking for now, and then we can begin to have this work that we are looking for, everything will begin to fall in place for us. Just a little sacrifice on your own end. It's not too much to ask. A little sacrifice on your own end. You are just busy, you know, you are busy, you are comfortable. You are comfortable in, your, in, 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 the, in, the, in the stress. You are comfortable in this, your so-called Nigeria, without work. And you, before election now, you will see most of these are youth will still go and gather and begin to praise one politician because of 10,000. My God. You see somebody that will come out and fight for you so that forever you and your family can live well. You open because you have a data. You now type rubbish. Now the country should go and sit down. Since how many years you have been promising of Biafra? And Biafra is not coming. He should just go and he's a scammer. He's a this. You and him, who is a scammer? You go and collect 10,000. 10,000 naira that is not even up to how many days meal. Eh? You collect it and that 10,000 will now be what you will have. You can, with that 10,000 naira, the politician will not even look your face for the next four years. Who is more stupid? For the next four years, after you collect that money, to go and do even at, the, at, your, at, at your own risk. Because if that thing you're doing, any stray bullet can even fall on your head. Eh? IPOB remains strong. 
with all their 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 attacks remain strong what i'm telling you that more attacks are coming be strong oh more attacks are coming except you are weak if you are not weak if you are weak in the IPO, you know that very, very soon they will bite you. They will bite you because politicians are ready to pull down that struggle. They are ready, so get prepared. This is what I'm saying now. Better record my message and keep it somewhere because you will remember a day like this that I told you this. Politicians, the vultures are busy gathering. They are gathering. They are gathering to eat us raw. They are gathering so that they will scatter whatever that is left of IPO. They want to pull IPOB down because IPOB is becoming a monster. Nigerian government is complaining. Everybody is complaining. Now, even the people in the East, they are all complaining. Our politicians are co complaining because what do they care? They only care about what they can get. They only care about what they, their business with Nigerian government. So this Nigerian government, if Nandi cannot keep on going the way he's going, then their business is jeopardized. Their business will be in trouble. Because they don't have anywhere they're going. If they don't enter, if they don't uh, uh, go for politics, if they don't do politics, they will die. The hunger will kill them. The only way that is guaranteed for them and their children to keep on living their luxurious life is to remain in politics. So it's going to come. So many people are going to tell you, hey, hey, is it not better to, to uh, how can how, is it not better to, uh, to arrange ourselves and form a political party as if you have not been following, following political parties since, since how many years? As if, you are, as if you have not been doing that. Every single year they will renew, they, 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 and they'll begin to plead to you, hey, hey, but uh, we, we can't stay like that because we have not gotten Biafra. Once you have one voice and you say this is where we are, they know that you have the power to do it. That's why they are paying people within the IPOB to sabotage the struggle. You think they don't know what you're doing. So the when next you see all these people coming out or to secretly join the others and begin to talk rubbish, know them. Begin to know that there's going to be a strong attack. But what I'm saying is, even if IPOB members are 500, eh, and they managed to remove 250, that 250 that is remaining should stand strong because it is only you that God will use. By that time, God has removed the shaft because at this particular time, strength at this particular strength time, it needs to happen because if it happens, the weed and the chaff they will all be separated. God is about to separate the people that are serious, the people that are going to work with Him, and the fake people. There are so many fake people hidden inside the IPOB, and everybody is counting them as numbers. God is not going to lose all of you. He is busy searching the realms of your heart. He is busy searching your conscience to see people who are qualified and people who must not remain. So right now, anybody that falls away, please let them go. Stop uh, pursuing them up and down. Stop asking them, why are you doing this? Eh? Stop asking them. Stop asking them. Stop asking them, why are you falling away? There will be a lot of criminals coming in. A lot of people with questionable character. Imagine, people will come out with so much bad record and they are, everybody's fighting them. They can. Why? Because people naturally hate the truth. You see people...